What's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, thanks to the guys over at Thermaltake, we're taking a look at their new budget orientated Challenger Gaming Combo Mouse and Keyboard Bundle. So, the Challenger Gaming Keyboard and Mouse Combo, this is a very budget orientated combo. It is, it's more gaming styled than anything, but hey, we'll get to that in the fu in a little bit in the future. So this is actually available at the moment from eBuyer in the UK for 20 quid. That is an adjustable DPI mouse and an illuminated keyboard for 20 quid. Um, this is the packaging that it comes in. It's just a bit of basic information on it. There's a little leaflet inside with some instructions, but most of the information is actually here on the back. Just gives you some information about the shortcut keys how to choose the lighting option, and same for the mouse. It's all right, really, a bit of packaging. So the keyboard and mouse itself, it is a standard 104 key keyboard. It is meant to be mechanical feel, okay? There is RGB, it's you're just a fixed sort of rainbow illumination. You can actually have it set to strobe by pressing the function key and uh, sorry no pressing the cycle key and eventually you do get to it you've also got if you press function and page up page down you can change the brightness of said illumination the mouse we will look at a little bit more in depth later but the keyboard itself as i said full 104 key keyboard i must admit i'm not a massive fan of the font it's the first thing that stood out to me the font is a bit big i mean I can hold that. I could probably put this across the room and still read this. It's a very large font, but at least it's easy to read. So across the top, you do have a selection of multimedia keys to access by pressing the function key. You do have some uh, volume ones, pause and stops, email, home, lock, key, uh, calculator, standard Windows type ones. Nothing really special. You do have some massive illuminated things here for your caps lock, your num lock, your scroll lock, they're quite big. On the back of the keyboard, if we take a quick look, we'll flip it over, you do have a pair of feet. Also, weirdly, there's like cable routing here, but you can't really put the cable in it. I'm not quite sure what they were for. There is a couple of little rubber feet on the front just to stop it sliding around on your desk does do a semi-decent job. There is a built-in wrist rest, doesn't come off or anything like that. The keyboard itself is a bit basic, but hey, we are looking at a 20 pound combo here. It is a little bit flexible, but in actual use, once you've got it down on, pressing lots of buttons, oops. Once you've got it down on a flat surface, even with the feet in the up position, which I can't seem to get back on, there we go. Even with the feet in the up position, there's no, there's a bit of flex if you press right in the middle or if you lay it completely flat, it's not really a problem. So this is, although it is a gaming keyboard, it is a membrane keyboard. It's not memchanical or anything like that. It is a membrane keyboard and it's meant to have a slight mechanical feel, but if I'm honest, it's a bit dull and mushy. Um, it's a basic keyboard, it's 20 quid. Don't go expecting the likes of the nice feel you get from Ch genuine Cherry MX keyboards, which Thermaltake do actually use in some of their other keyboards. I reviewed their level 20 a little while ago. Did a while ago. Genuine Cherry switches in that. Great feel, typical ge genuine Cherry switches. This on the other hand though, it is a little bit on the mushy side. Um, it's, it's quite a quiet keyboard. Only the space bar really makes it any noise but it's got very little. There is a there is a tactile bump to them. I will give it that. There is a tactile bump, but they are mushy. Um, there's not too much key wobble though or anything like that. Um, it's relatively well built. It's got a, a six foot rubber cable to it, no braiding or anything on it, but you never really see keyboard cable, so I can just about let them get away with that. But overall, it's a keyboard. It's got some illumination. You can turn it off. The keycaps are a little bit mushy, but it does the job. If you're on a budget, yeah, it does the job. 
So let's take a quick look at the mouse now. Now, this mouse is actually branded as a Challenger mouse, but I have sitting over there that we reviewed a little while ago, a Talon mouse, and it looks exactly the same. Um, the DPI button is in the middle here. You press it and you can cycle through DPIs and colors. Uh, you can also, uh, there you go, press the buttons in and it'll do strobing and things like that. Uh, it is actually an optical sensor, it's not a laser sensor, so there is a little red light on the bottom. And it's exactly the same as the Talon mouse. As far as I'm aware, they have literally just changed the sticker on the bottom. And that mouse is about 20 quid. We've got the whole combo here for 20. So, yeah, I actually quite like the mouse. It's very light. It's very, very non-slip. There's no problems with it sticking or anything like that. And again, a nice six foot cable. This one is braided on the mouse. You can choose the colors. You can actually change the effect as well. You've got standard left and right click. You do have a scroll. You do have backwards and forwards buttons and the DPI button as well on the top. I actually, when I reviewed the mouse on its own, I quite liked it. And I will say that putting it into this combo makes it even better because that's 20 quid or all of this is 20 quid even if you don't need a keyboard it's effectively free at the moment just by choosing the combo so the keyboard itself was nothing special nothing bad it's a bit meh but it's 20 quid at which point i go awesome if you're looking at if you're putting together yourself a really budget key budget system you can't really go wrong okay if you have the money yes you can get better but if you're looking at spending 20 quid on a keyboard and mouse maybe you're just putting a, a system together for a friend or it's a system that you're just selling and when you're selling a whole system say you've invested in a nice like a level 20 keyboard and a nice expensive mouse you might not want to get rid of those you might just be looking at selling off the computer and spending 20 quid on something like that, it just makes it easy to sell because you're effectively saying well look, it's got everything ready to go and the 20 pound challenger bundle from thermal tape it definitely does the job yes you can get better but not for 20 quid so there we go guys it's the challenger combo bundle from thermal tape it's good it's 20 quid that's really all there is to say um i don't think i've used a keyboard and mouse bundle that is gaming that has even been available for 20 quid let alone one that was actually, it is usable, it is definitely usable, like I said, it is a membrane keyboard, as long as you remember it's a membrane keyboard, you expect it to be a bit quiet, a little bit mushy, but there's nothing fundamentally wrong with it, I actually quite like the keycap shape, the backlighting on it is a nice solid, it's it's not patchy or anything like that, okay, it would have been nice to have had some uh, through illumination, so like the, the, the letters would have been see-through, but it's 20 quid, that, that is prep, so it's a going thing with this this kit. It's 20 quid. You can't really slate it when it's only that cheap. So there we go, guys. That is about it for today. So I do actually give this a big thumbs up because for 20 quid, um, you can't really go wrong. It does everything it says on the tin. It's a nice, relatively nice keyboard, relatively well made, good illumination, everything you need it to do. Same with the mouse. Now, I did actually do a full review on the mouse, and I really liked it. Um... The mouse is about £20 on his mouse. Actually, I think it might have even been more than that. Um, the mouse was like the price of this whole bundle. It's a nice lightweight mouse. I would, if I was on a budget, buy the bundle and in the future maybe upgrade your keyboard. But there would be no need to immediately upgrade this mouse. This mouse is perfectly usable. It's nice and light. It fits well in the hand, if a little on the small side. But there we go, guys. I'm waffling now. It's a 20 quid combo. I'm going to put some links as to where you can pick one up down below. As always, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, not a problem. As always, if you want to see more of me, do click the subscribe button and that little notification bell. I will be back the same time next week.